What's up everyone, Rob from Mishimoto. Today we're gonna to take an in-depth look at the making of our BMW N55 baffled oil catch can. We faced a couple of challenges uh, when working with the BMW here. One of those challenges was uh, there is a PCV side heater valve assembly that is on the, uh, on the car itself. Unplugging this particular sensor or this heater from the system would cause the car to throw a check engine light. We didn't want to do that, so we ended up trying to trick it with a resistor, but that did not have the desired results. In the end, we ended up leaving this on the system, simply separating the hose from it with a heat gun, leaving it on the intake side, and then attaching our outlet from our catch can to this particular valve. A couple other design challenges that we had with this was the fact that the engine bay is really cramped and there isn't a whole lot of room for a catch can inside the stock engine bay. We didn't want lines running all over the place, so we know we wanted to put the catch can somewhere in this general area. The location that we chose was up front here because it gave us really clean access to the already existing PCV locations. It also allowed us to run the lines in such a way that they're very hard to see and you didn't have to cut up your, uh, your engine cover in order to install them. We've gotten a lot of feedback in the past from BMW owners saying that they wanted a more OEM style hose inside their engine bay. So we went with a different style hose as opposed to the silicone that we typically use. It's more of a rubber finish. This gives you a much better OEM BMW finish. We're really happy to note that after all of these design challenges, we tested a vehicle over a typical oil change period. We were able to catch a significant amount of blow-by as well as a bunch of other garbage that uh, prevented it from getting to your valves. So as you can see, we had a number of challenges to overcome while developing this product. If you're interested in learning more, head over to our engineering blog that's constantly being updated with new technical articles on our upcoming projects.